Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the first day of the maximum recording degree in each city and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Let's jump right in. We are given a table called weather with three different columns, city ID, day and degree. The combined column city ID and day is the primary key for this table. Each row in this table contains the degree of the weather of a city on a certain day. All the degrees are recorded in 2022. Okay, we are asked to write a SQL query to report the day that has the maximum recorded degree. And if the maximum degree was recorded for the same city multiple times, return the earliest day among them. The order of the result should be sorted by city ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have three different cities, right? With city ID 1, 2 and 3. Now for 1, what is the maximum degree, right? So maximum degree is 24. So for city ID 1, day is 7th of July 2022, the degree is 24. For city ID 2, the degree or the highest degree is 37 and it is same for two different days. So we need to return the earliest one, right? So for city ID 2, we need to return this one. And for city ID 3, out of this, what is the maximum? So minus 6 is more than minus 7. So for city ID 3, we need to return this. And if you see the output, that is what we get. So this question is very simple. What we can do is we can from this weather table can, you know, for each city, if we partition by the city ID, right, and then order by degree in descending order and then day in ascending order, because, you know, when there is a tie between degree, then you need to arrange it in ascending order and then we can rank it, right? Now, once we rank it, then we keep the first rank of all these city IDs and that is going to satisfy that is highest degree. And if there is a tie, then the earliest day. So what I mean by that is let's start building this query. So from this weather table, right, if I, you know, return all the columns and let's make a, a new column, a fourth column, right, which is basically going to be the rank based on the highest degree and the earliest date. So since we are going to use a ranking function and there are three different ranking functions, row number, rank and dense rank. Here, you cannot use row number, but you can use rank as well as dense rank. I am going ahead with dense rank. If you want, you can write the same query with rank as well. So dense rank, right? Dense rank. And then since this is a window function, we need to write the over clause. And then what we need is for each of the city IDs, right? So we partition, partition by city ID. And then what do we know? We need to order by degree in descending order. So order by degree in descending order, right? And for cases like this, when the degree is same, right? Then you need to order by day in ascending order. So by day and by default ascending order. And then let's alias this as like whatever R and K, right? So basically what will this do? Right. So let me just copy it here so that, you know, I can demonstrate what this is going to do. OK. So firstly, it creates partition by city. So if you see, like if I use spaces to to showcase partitions, so this is one partition, this is another partition and partition number three. Now it says order by degree in descending order for each of the partitions. Right. So this is going to be the maximum. Then this then this one is going to come right and then the first one. So then this one is going to come. Okay. So for city ID one, we have this one, right? And then it says for each of the partitions, right? Order by degree in decre decreasing manner and then by day in increasing manner. So if you see what is going to be the first one and since here like degree and there is no tie, right? So it will remain as it is here since order by degree in decreasing manner and it is going to be the same so what will happen is that you know this is going to be the same as well why because by default if you see here 7th of august is earlier than 17th of august right and similarly for this since again there is no tie between degree so what will happen this will go up and this row will come down 
right so here it will come down and this will happen and then what will do is a new column rnk is created with and which assigns the rank 1 2 3 then 1 2 then 1 2 right so this is what happens so obviously if you see the output that we need is wherever your rank is equal to 1 you return the city id day and degree and that is going to be the output right if you see right exactly same stuff right so what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression right so with cte as and this entire thing comes in parenthesis right and then from this common table expression let's keep only those rows where rank is equal to one right and then what columns do we need city id day and degree right so let's return city id day and degree and the question says we need to sort this by city id in ascending order so we write order by city id okay so this looks good let me go ahead and remove this and we can run this query to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again medium difficulty but if you follow the logic it is very very simple question all you had to do was you know identify that for each of the cities order by degree in descending order and then by day in case of a tie in ascending order rank this and only keep those ranks you know where rank is equal to one because that is going to satisfy the uh, requirement of this question and then just order by the city id and return the selected column that you want in the output i hope this video was useful let me know if this video was useful or if you know a better way or a more efficient way of doing this question let the solution be in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video